Michael. Tonight's Broadway update takes us to Off-Broadway, where our very own Theatre Talk director, Paul Corrigan's new play, Queens Boulevard, opens this week. Now, you've been working on this play for a while, Paul, and when you first started it, it was called Two, Two Mad, Mad Queens. Queens. <laughs> Two <laughs> Mad Queens. But you know, I work on a play for a long time. I mean, the idea for this play came around 1986. And I thought about it and thought about it and thought about it. And then what, in 80, 95, I sat down and wrote it. And well, Maura Yeston worked on Titanic for what was it, eight years, five years? Yeah, sure. Yeah, right. the, ge the gestation period, as they say. Uh, give us a little bit about, for the, for the viewers, you know, the basic plot outline of the play. Two old queens, real mad. Uh, <laughs> living in Queens. Living on Queens <laughs> Boulevard. A beautiful young man comes and rents a room in their house, and they assume that young man is straight because he's not coming on to them. They don't get it. They <laughs> think they're, you know, beautiful young bells. And the more they find out that he might be gay, the more they're driven to do mad things in order to win his love. So it's more and more heightening of mad queen activity. Right. It's, it's well, mad I queen think, activity. Do you think there's an audience for that, Michael? Uh, well, I, I, I don't know. Or, I mean, I think there's an audience for, for any play that's good and that's funny. What, what, uh, what interests me about the play is there have been a lot of, uh, a, a lot of gay plays lately. Um, was yours written uh, as a comedy in a reaction to kind of the, the very seriousness of such plays as Angels in America uh, and some of the uh, polemical Larry Kramer plays? I mean, yours is kind of a boulevard farce. It's a boulevard farce. Mine was written... Uh as a reaction to AIDS and AIDS plays and all the people that I had lost, I couldn't be sad anymore. I just had to write a funny play. And you wrote it right after you wrote a wonderful screenplay about right, a, a, an AIDS hostel. Right, a, a, yeah, an AIDS a very hospice, serious, yeah. a dark, hospice, dark right. screenplay, which was also comic, you know. Yeah. You know, uh, life in the AIDS hospice kind of seen through comics eyes as people pass away and pass away. It's, it's funny as well as touching, but then, then I just had to write Queens Boulevard. I couldn't take it anymore. Yeah, so this yeah. is just no meaningful drama here, just solid, bizarre comedy. Just, well, it, it's, yeah, it's If it's Neil Simon were gay, he'd be Paul yeah, Corrigan. Yeah, it's, it's the gay Neil <laughs> Simon. There's a little point to it. There's a little point to it, and there are lots of surprises. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, that's what makes it, you know, a lot of fun. And, and a it? wonderful production, uh -huh. I have to say. And, and where is it running? At the Players Theater in the heart of Greenwich Village on McDougal Street. Um, signs and posters and ads are out already, I guess, as this is being aired actually go up tomorrow. And, mm -hmm. and tickets are, are less than $75. Less than $75, less than half that. Just curious though, a little bit about the, the humor of the play, because uh, it's very funny line by line. How do you, how do you write a, a funny line or a funny joke? How do you know as a writer it's funny? Uh, it's funny? You, you don't write a funny line, you have to write a funny situation. Mm -hmm. And the lines come from the situation. Mm -hmm. So you conceive of the situation in your mind first right. and then... It's, I, I, this is really structural comedy in that it's an inherently funny situation that these two old guys don't see that they're not... That they're old and not undesirable. <laughs> right, and, and not desirable to, to, you know, beautiful young boys. Well, it's the human condition. Oh, it's the human condition. <laughs> well, Paul, we wish Speak you Speak for well. yourself. Paul, do you think the play will have appeal beyond um, uh, the gay audiences? You know, I always say it's a gay play for straight people. Meaning? It's, it's like, a, it's, in a way, it's like a combination of the odd couple and the birdcage, mm -hmm. you know? Um, it's, I think it's wildly politically incorrect, you know? And there Which means gay audiences might dislike right, it. Right, exactly. Audiences gay, love it. <laughs> exactly, exactly that, that, that gay audiences might react against it, mm -hmm. you know? Sounds promising. Yeah, it's a lot well, of fun. All right, so we'll, we'll, we'll see you opening night next Huge. week. I hope so. And thanks again for doing such a great job of theater. You're talk. very welcome. Thank you. And now, the longest running show on Broadway, Cats. Meow. <laughs>
We welcome your questions or comments for Theatre Talk. Thank you and good night. Thank you.